places where, where love abounds, where people really love each other and treat and they treat one another with compassion and kindness. If, if you want to find God, that's where you should be looking, because that's where God can be seen most obvious. If that's true, then by inviting us here today to witness this marriage event and allowing us to to see the love that you have for one another being expressed in word and action today, you are also inviting us into the presence of God, and you're allowing us to catch a glimpse of God's face. And so you honor us, honor us by allowing us to be part of this. And so on behalf of everyone here, I just want to thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part of this wonderful special day. The vows come in two forms. The first are actually called the words of intention. And even though to, in, in our modern society, these are words that the couple says to one another. Actually, I say the words for you, and, and you respond uh, to the words to one another by saying, I do or I will. But in years past, that wasn't the way it worked. These were actually words that couples would um, say, not to one another, but to everyone who had gathered as witnesses, to the community, in other words. That's why they were called the words of intention. They were, it was your opportunity to share with everyone that you are here because you intend to marry this person. Now I have no idea why people would come to a marriage ceremony without intending to marry the other person. We all sort of know that, right? But you know, this is the way ancient um, uh, traditions develop over, over the centuries. And they're called the words of intention. Say, uh-huh, or nod your head. <laughs> Everyone here is going to be watching you very, very closely. <laughs> Holding hands, good. And you gaze lo lovingly into each other's eyes, good. All right. Ray, will you have Angela to be your wedded wife, to live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love, according to God's will for your lives together? And will you listen to her inmost thoughts, be considerate and tender in your care of her, and stand by her faithfully in love and respect for all of your days together. I did. Good. That was a meaningful pause. <laughs> and Angela, will you have Ray to be your wedded husband, to live together in the covenant of faith, hope, and love, according to God's will for your lives together? Will you listen to his inmost thoughts and be tender and considerate in your care of him? and stand by him faithfully in love and respect for all of your days together. Thank you. Thank you. For the second set of vows, I again would like to say the words, but this time, instead of saying I do or I will, I ask you to repeat after me. I, Angela. I, Angela. Take you right. Take you right. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. Hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In love and understanding. In love and understanding. For all of our days. I Ray. I Ray. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for in sickness and in health, love and understanding, for all our days. Giving and receiving of rings, it's an ancient custom. It's certainly been a part of the marriage ceremony in our culture for a long, long time. But the practice of giving rings um, as a sign of faith and, and devotion is a practice that goes back far beyond wedding ceremonies. We remember stories of ancient kings who wore signet rings upon their hands, um, rings that symbolized the king's personhood and authority. The ancient stories tell us that when the king would send a trusted servant to a far land to speak on his behalf, he would often remove that signet ring place it upon the servant's hand so that wherever the servant traveled, 
It was like the king was there, just because the servant had the ring on his finger. And so when he would stand and, and, and enter into diplomatic um, you know, treaties, because he had the ring, everybody believed it was the king's authority was present. From a story like that, we come to understand why we give and receive rings in a marriage ceremony. Because something similar is happening here. Uh, by giving these rings to one another, you're saying, I want to give a part of who I am to you. I want you to know that no matter where you are in this world, I will always be with you. And the ring is, is a symbol of that. The ring is a reminder of that wonderful, wonderful reality. The ring symbolized this wonderful sharing of two lives, the overlapping of lives. It's another way of saying it. Um, it it's hard to put it into words what we're talking about if you think about it um, but at the same time we all know what we what we mean when we talk about having a relationship with someone that is so deep and so wonderful that it really is as if two people become one it is miraculous it's mystical it's magical it's it's just wonderful it is the best thing in life i think that we can experience to have a relationship with someone else like that so God really has blessed you today by bringing you here and bringing your lives together. And I hope that, that you realize you are, you are truly blessed, truly fortunate people. So many people wander through this life just hungering for, for a relationship like this. And you have it. It's great. And the rings are meant to remind you of that. So that no matter, even if you're on opposite sides of the globe and you're apart, you look down and you see the rings. It's, it's the power of God. I'd like to offer a prayer blessing for you. Holy God, we do ask now that you bless these rings and transform them today from, from bands of mere metal into living symbols of faith, hope, and love. As Ray and Angela wear these rings upon their fingers, remind them of the promises that they've made to one another today and the love and commitment that they have expressed. But more than that, gracious God, we pray that as they wear these rings upon their fingers, they will be aware of truly how, how blessed they are have this relationship with one another and, and how much more wonderful their lives will be together. We pray this in the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs> the ring that you have for Ray, we place it upon his finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee with in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I do it. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And as I speak my prayer out loud, I invite you to offer your silent prayers or you can put forward your good thoughts to the universe or, or however you would like to, to express your, your hopes and wishes for uh, Ray and Angela today. But, but let us pray. Holy God, you are the spirit of life and the spirit of love. It's through the power of your love that you have created our lives, created this world, that you have brought us into relationship with others, that you have given our life meaning and purpose. We know that today you have done all of these things in the lives of Victor, Ray, and Angela. We know that you have, have a wonderful future ahead for them. And we know that as they travel the roads of this life and perhaps encounter difficult and hard times, we know that you will help them to stand with one another, to draw strength and lend strength to one another, and to move forward hand in hand in courage. We know that as they travel the roads of this life and encounter the good moments, the happy moments, that you also will help them laugh together, to share the joys of their hearts with one another, and again, move forward into a brighter future. We pray for their family members and for their friends and grant them wisdom and insight that they may be sources of support and nurture as Ray and Angela build this, this life and marriage together. But more than all these things, Holy God, we ask that you grant Ray and Angela a good life a life of fulfillment and happiness and joy, a life in which they discover more and more about themselves each and every day because they are together, because they're walking hand in hand through this life. 
We ask this blessing upon them now in the name of Christ. Amen. Ha, 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 ha.